Which is more important, a cooler's metal heatsink down below or its spinning fan up top? The CPU coolers typically have some combination of these two parts, so by removing them from one another, we can start to see the cooling contributions for each component. And so we'll install each of these individually into our PC, starting with our fan, which after applying onto our motherboard has just enough clearance to lay flush against the CPU. So now as we turn on our PC, we can measure the temperature in this top left line graph, and under load we see it spike immediately to well over 100 degrees Celsius. Despite moving tons of air around, this thing is burning up, but do you think the heatsink by itself will do any better? It definitely didn't help the fan that it wasn't secured down to the motherboard, so for the sake of the heatsink, I'm also not going to screw it down, just to be fair. And so we can again measure the temperature of the CPU with this top left line graph, which under load, we see a very different chart, and this time giving us a very gradual incline. The metal heatsink is clearly doing a better job so far, but it is getting hotter and hotter. And so if we reintroduce our fan, we can see an immediate temperature drop just like that. And that, my friends, is the power of teamwork.